Good day. This is an update from CBS News. I'm Russ Mitchell in New York. A U.S.-led assault against targets in Libya is continuing today. A second wave of attacks by coalition aircraft began early this morning with American B-2 bombers and Harrier jets in the lead. The U.S. claimed success in 20 of the 22 targets hit by Tomahawk cruise missiles yesterday. And French warplanes report no resistance as they enforce the no-fly zone over Libya. In the meantime, a defiant Muammar Gaddafi called coalition nations animals and vowed his forces would fight a long war inch by inch. Mark Phillips is on the ground in Tripoli. After a night and now a day of attacks here, the argument is also now shifting to the death toll. There was an angry public funeral in Tripoli today. The regime says it was for some of the more than 60 people they claim were killed in the attacks. Those numbers are impossible to verify. But Muammar Gaddafi is stoking the anger of his supporters in Tripoli and promising a long war. President Obama is keeping watch on developments in Libya during his visit to Brazil, where he said once again the U.S. was part of a broad coalition. Stay with CBS News and CBSNews.com for the very latest on the situation in Libya. I'm Russ Mitchell, CBS News in New York.